Hello my sweet peaches and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sophie. I do all sorts of comfy cozy Animal Crossing videos. Um, if that's the kind of thing you like to watch here on YouTube, then be sure to drop me a subscribe and like the video so that maybe other people like you can find my channel. Um, anyways, today we're going to be working on one of my beaches. Um, I know beaches are kind of one of those things that are really difficult to decorate for a lot of people, um, but I personally find them really fun. And let's just jump right in. So first, well, we're on one of my few, act this is actually my only beach I think that I've fully decorated. I do have a video up on my channel if you're interested. Oh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna disturb them. But yeah, I, you know, my beaches are all kind of different. Like that one is obviously like a ruin. Um, and then today we're gonna be decorating this beach down here. It's gonna be a very different vibe, which this is the space we're working with. It's like my bottom right beach and then my peninsula is here and I've also got some furniture up there. <laughs> For the build, oh Flurry, she's so sweet. But anyways, yeah, Um, as you can see here, I have a plot mapped out for a house. I haven't actually built it yet because I'm really lazy, but um, as you can maybe see from the sign, it's going to be a gnome B&B. &B. We're gonna have a little bed and breakfast here. If you've been in my channel for a while, then you probably saw my autumn uh, gnome core island, Maple Glen. Um, I really fell in love with my main character for that island. Um, she was like, and I'm planning on bringing her to Peach because I just I just loved her design and on that island she worked at a bakery and maybe she becomes so uh huge and famous from her baked goods that she opens a chain of bed and breakfasts so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna build some stuff down here that is suited for a bed and breakfast I really love putting grass paths down on the beach I did that a lot on my jungle core island um, just because it made it feel very overgrown but it's now something I've started doing on all of my islands but yeah I think adding a little bit of pathing to your beach is definitely a good place to start it just kind of helps break it up and divide the spaces and make it a little bit less boring so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna put two tables down here um, so I'm just kind of making a big enough patch so that the tables can fit on it. Also, this is kind of an interesting area. As you can maybe see from the decorating up here, it's very autumnal and red, um, just because, you know, this was inspired by my autumn island. So that kind of just happened when I started decorating it that I wanted a lot of very autumnal items. Um, and I kind of want to make, oh my God, can you just place on the tile behind me? Thank you. <laughs> I want, I mean, I want it to have that very autumnal look, but I also want it to be like, you know, very springy because this island is set in cherry blossom season. And I think the customization on these bistro tables is perfect. I love this code. The kind of like red, red is not my color. I think I've said that before um, on my channel, but yeah, red is not my favorite color, but I love the little red and yellow pops. And we're gonna put down some turkey day chairs. Oh, it looks like Flurry's coming to maybe take a look at what we're doing. <gasps> Oh, she's what? She's gonna go water my flowers. What a baby. Okay, this is looking cute. Oh, you have to kind of squeak through here. I want my villagers to be able to, there we go. I want my villagers to be able to like walk and sit down here. All right, I'm back with some flowers. Freckles has joined the party. Everybody is just coming to see what I'm doing and probably get in my way a whole bunch. Okay, this is already looking so stinking cute. I love it. I'm probably gonna put just some weeds and stuff down here um, and to fill in the edges. I don't wanna go too crazy on the flowers, but... And then over here, I'm kind of thinking I wanna make it a reading corner with a hammock. It's kind of an awkward little space. Um, you can't fit too much, but I think it's just the right size for a hammock. Okay, so we're gonna place this hammock. Oh, cute. Right, we've got a little stack of books, and then I'm thinking maybe this mushroom stool I've got to kind of tie in with that autumnal theme. That's cute. Or you know what? Actually, I think I had a cup of tea. I want to set the cup of tea up here. Yay! I love the paradise planning items they added in. Um, you get these from the DLC at different points. They're so cute, but um, I, I struggle to use orange. <laughs> which a lot of them are orange, so I haven't really used them yet. Maybe go grab some more books or something to put down. Okay, so instead of more books, I had a better idea, which I actually want to rearrange this, since it's kind of hard to see them. It's a little mushroom platform, and then it ties into all the other mushrooms. 
Okay, cute. So we have some little candles so you can actually see what the heck you're reading. Okay, this looks very cute. And you can still you can still get down here. I might actually move this bush and move the path over a bit so it's easier. You know, let's do that. Or no, I can just move the flower. I don't need to move the bush too. Dig that up and then maybe put some planks here. Oh, oh it's so cozy already. Ooh, I bet a little coconut tree would be cute. I'm gonna go see if I have any little ones planted somewhere or if I need to plant a fresh coconut. Okay, now we're talking. This is cute. I love this little tree here. It's so stinking precious. It's like the only coconut tree on my whole island and it's not even fully grown. It can't even produce coconuts. Okay, I love this pumpkin fence. It's very, you know, autumnal, but I think it's just too, it's just too dark. Okay, this area just instantly looks better. Oh, very classy. I kind of like that. I do also have some stone fencing. I don't know if that... I feel like the stone fencing looks very beachy to me. I kind of like that. And I ended up switching to all the stone. I think it looks really nice, honestly. Um, I do love that plant partition, but I might use it somewhere else in this build. Like, it could even be cute, like, right here. Something to kind of separate these spaces. You know, let me try that. Ugh, do I hate it or do I like it? <laughs> I like it, but I also hate it. I think my issue is I just don't have trees down here. I just, I don't know about you all, but I just put trees everywhere. I could put a big coconut tree like over here maybe. Okay, so just for now, I actually tried with the Chef Laura. It's really cute. I'm thinking maybe have it like that and then maybe a coconut tree here. I think it's kind of cute. It makes it feel more, I don't know, makes it feel like you're in an actual like restaurant. I could even put a little fencing here maybe. But oh, that's actually really cute. Is it too, is it overkill on the, the stone fencing? I don't know, I kind of, I'm just like really into the stone fencing all of a sudden. It's like all I want to use. You know, I, I feel like maybe it's too much. Okay, what is this? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Pro tip, never give your villagers a Christmas themed greeting because they'll be saying it until March. I do howdy. Nice. Gotta make her say howdy. I've got a I've got a flurry howdy emo on my Twitch, so just it's just the right thing to do, you know? It's just the right thing. I specifically made sure there was room for the villagers to walk, and they still decide to walk into the furniture. Like, ma'am, ma'am, right here. Now try moving forward. Or not, okay, fine, whatever. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Yes! Oh my god, perfect! I, as you can see, I changed a lot of stuff up. I just spent like 20 minutes changing the fencing. I ended up doing this lattice fencing here. I just like that you can see through it. Um, I feel like it's a nicer division because um, the stone fence was just too heavy and thick. You couldn't see the pumpkins behind it. Um, and it kind of brightens up the whole space having the, the white fencing. And then I ended up using the plant partitions, but they're all sideways now instead of, I had them like up and down the before. And I liked, so I was really frustrated. I didn't like the stone fencing, like with a corner. Um, it just looked really awkward and like boxy. So I like with the partition, you can cover it, but you don't have this like awkward boxy corner. I think it looks nice. And then yeah, I basically just put down a bunch of mushrooms. Um, Cause you know, I love some mushrooms. Oh, Cause it's already like the hottest hangout spot on the island. Okay, so now I wanna focus on the main feature. I wanna have this whole section. I don't think I'm gonna go all the way up cause it's gonna be kind of way too big. I wanna make an outdoor movie theater. It's like one of the cutest builds that I see people do. And I think it'd be so cute if like, they hosted little movie nights at the B&B. &B. Okay, obviously I want this area to look good at night. This one, it lights up very bright pink at nighttime, which I just love. And then we can put down the projection screen. That's the name of, it's a two, another 2.0 item. Um, it's the item you can use for a little outdoor theater. It's so cute. And then, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do like, you know what, maybe I want it not so, <laughs> like in the water. Now it's a little bit more centered now. We're just gonna do a whole mix of blankets, like very mismatched. So it kind of looks like everybody brought all their own blankets to the, the party. A diagonal blanket would be really cute. I don't have any diagonal blanket codes though. And I don't think I'm gonna have enough code spots to do that. I might at some point, you know what, maybe, maybe I can sacrifice some. Maybe we're gonna, okay, we're gonna sacrifice this one. I'm barely using it anyways. 
And then I don't think I'm gonna use this one. Okay, I'm crying. I literally wanna download all of these codes. Look at how cute these are. I have to get these on strawberry. That's really cute. And then look at the little, you can have little bunnies. Diagonal blanket acquired. I don't know if I even remember how to freaking use these. Can I do this here? Oh my God, what? How did that place there? Oh my God, wait, can I not put one right here? No. Ooh, got our little heart blankie right here. feels bad man i think it's like that yeah maybe how do people make this look good maybe let me wipe this one up you know what? here here i have an idea literally let's just move all this back and then i'll be able to place the codes a little easier we'll move the blanket up fix the tassels oh my god wait i'll just put like a pillow right here i guess oh my god this sucks <laughs> I hate this is why you know what this is why beaches suck I understand now if the freaking you can't place codes wherever you want them it's still kind of bitter that I can't put this this uh a code right here but honestly I think it's gonna look okay if I just put like a big stack of cushions right here Let me maybe make this more centered too maybe I can put a diagonal one right here you know I've seen people do this on Instagram like these giant blankets and I how the heck do y'all do this Okay, yeah, I'm gonna just make a big diamond. I'm not gonna make it like long and skinny, which was my original thought. Maybe make it all mismatchy, like we could do, and, like I'm thinking, or maybe I could do this one. <sighs> yeah, that looks really cute. It almost looks like two blankets on top of each other, which is kind of a cute idea. Oh, she's gonna water it. Oh my God, I love when they water it. <laughs> she's like 10 feet away from it. The water isn't even close. She's trying though. Okay, and I've got, I got, I got a flower. We got one green mum, y'all. <laughs> one green mum to put here. Okay, so literally won't let me put anything right here. It's gotta be all the way over here, which is kind of absurd. So we have this whole empty spot, which sucks. I'm thinking though, I might get some of the yoga mat items to put down. I, I think I have at least one in my storage that I can use. Um, that's kind of been my my go-to like hack lately for like blankets um because they lay down flat it's not like the beach blankets where you have to physically like lay on it like you're sleeping i think once this area is filled in with like all the pillows and stuff it's gonna look really cute it's not gonna look it's not gonna look silly it looks kind of ridiculous right now <laughs> we are gonna go get some pillows get some flowers and see how we can fill the space in okay so i wanted to put a big stack of cushions here hopefully cover up the fact that there's no tassels right there. I think it looks just fine. Yeah, that's really cute, honestly. It's not too noticeable. I actually had this really big cherry blossom item. I don't think I wanna put it here because this is on like a diagonal blanket like this too. So I think maybe I can push it down. Can I put a flower here? I don't think I can. Maybe if I push this over one more. Yeah, where can I put flowers? It's really hard for me to tell with the diagonal codes. Okay, yeah. I think a flower would be really cute. Oh, I don't even have any flowers on me. Hold on. I just dug up all these flowers as Flurry was watering them and she keeps glaring at me. She's so mad. She's so mad. I, I'm, I'm gonna be fearing for my life. Oh. 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 Girl, you didn't even try to swing. It was right there. You could have caught it. Honestly, these, these animals. No, oh, no wonder I'm the only one who ever donates to the museum. They don't know what they're doing. You know what? Maybe I want to move this little green mum and put it down here. Because the green mum next to the green blanket, I feel like is a little bit, it's a little bit much. And there's a lot of pink going on down here. Okay, I think that helps balance it out a bit more. Let's see. I've got this little popcorn set. Very cute. This is a nice big cushion. I love it. I love it. I love that it's like diagonal facing the other way. They spill on their Cheetos. Okay, got this carton beverage. I feel like that'd be so disgusting having strawberry milk with a Cheeto though. I don't know if strawberry milk is really the vibe for this build. Maybe like I should grab a different drink. Okay, so I got a peach juice, which I think is gonna, or a smoothie, excuse me. Obviously fits the peachy theme. And then I also grabbed an, uh, like an orange juice that looks like the one that's with this set. Let me see, I have a lot of room down here. Maybe I should have some more. Yeah, one of these little round pillows. I'm obsessed with these round pillows. Do I want to put it there though? No, maybe I want it over here to kind of cover up all these awkward edges. And then I could put down like some cupcakes. I think that'd be cute. Some little cupcakes next to their popcorn. They're just on a, they're gonna be on a sugar high. And then maybe another little cushion right here. 
Maybe the mom's cushion? You know, I wanna put that somewhere else. It's too matchy with this green blanket. I think a zen cushion and then one of the mom's cushions would be very cute down here. Maybe do the more green. I really want it to be balanced. Okay, yeah, that looks really nice now. Yeah, just a little more spread out. I think that looks nice. Okay, Freckles, I can tell you're thinking, but I'm a little busy right now. Got some little pumpkin scones in a triangular shape. Uh, let me know in the comments if a scone should be round or triangular. This is the ongoing war going on in my Twitch stream um, and in our community. It's I think scones should be triangular, like, like so. A round scone is not a scone at all, it's a biscuit. And that's, that's the tea. I wanna put the round pillow under the scones. Oh my God, what? <laughs> okay, cause the pillow's brown and then this brown sugar cupcake is brown. So it all kind of blends. Like it's nice, but also I want some contrast. So maybe instead I'll put the brown pillow here and then the scones. Kind of stands out a little more. Okay, what do you want Freckles? A cooler box? Um, I could use that maybe, depending on the color, actually. That could actually be really cute over here. You don't want to give it to somebody else. Okay, what color is it? Oh, um, mm, I don't know if that's really the, the color. If it was gonna like yellow, I'd be very excited, but. Okay, sorry, Freckles. I didn't have a yoga blanket in my storage, so I have to commit thievery. See, isn't that perfect? It's like a really cute way to basically it looks like a blanket you know you can't really see like it does have a little tag there but like that could just be like a blanket tag you know like saying where it was made it's so nice for when you want to put more down but the game is being stupid and won't let you place codes um or items or whatever it's so nice okay what more i'm thinking maybe some pillows over here because i still have a lot of pillows okay that looks cute <gasps> thumbprint jam cookies yes we'll use that to kind of cover up some of these little awkward empty bits here. I don't know, do I like that or is that kind of meh? I'll just put this drink here. I feel like, yeah, this build is just, it needs something more right here. You know what, maybe I'll move, because we do have two mums together and that's kind of a lot. Maybe I'll move this one and then I can pick some sort of a furniture item to go over there. Maybe put those cookies here. And I feel like it's overwhelming having the green scones. I'm gonna put the cupcakes over here. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. I know it's not a huge deal where things go, but I get really particular about color placement. Like, I don't want too many green things next to each other. I don't want too much pink next to each other. Okay, pumpkin scones. I had to do pumpkin scones just because that's supposed to be like her specialty over at the bakery here. We've got like such a weird assortment with like popcorn, scones, Cheetos. It's kind of gross, honestly. You know, everybody has their own food. Like the scones are maybe for this yoga person. The popcorn can be shared between these two. Although maybe everybody should have their own snacks. I feel like maybe they need another thing of snacks right here. Maybe I'll put the, the jam cookies here. Yeah, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. I could even put it on top of this pillow or is that gonna be overkill? You know, like I said, I don't like too much pink. Actually, that's really cute. And it's nice, like the height variance, you know, you don't have just all the plates on the same level. It's like elevated a bit. That's very cute. I do realize you can't actually sit on any of the pillows now, but whatever. It's all just for the aesthetic anyways, right? I can put a wee cushion right here. We can have one cushion that's actually sittable, maybe. I need something right here though. I need to go dig in my storage for like one item that fits here. I also forgot I got a popcorn machine. Of course I had to have a little, a little poppy machine. Oh, that's perfect. It's gonna be like very obscured once the tree is grown in, but that's kind of kind of the point. I kind of want it to be like partially hidden. Let's just try I wasn't sure what to get. I ended up grabbing this tea set from my storage. Oh, that's super cute. I think that's the winner. I just like, cause it's, you know, it's really tall, obviously. It just adds some nice height. Let's just, you know, stick another code underneath it because clutter core. I think, I think this is good. I don't want it to be too cluttered. I, I mean like these little bits of like empty space right here, honestly drive me a little crazy. And maybe just a little flower here. And then we can have some like little, um planks going up this way to kind of lead up to this area behind i honestly am not sure what i want to do right here i think i'm going to actually stop this video here today i was going to do this whole area but i don't really know what to do here i was thinking of bike parking but i feel like it's going to look really weird i have no clue what to do for my peninsula i was also thinking of like oh hold on balloon i was thinking of like a dining spot here but we literally have like so many we have like so much food down here 
I don't know if I really need another spot to like go eat food. What'd I get? Cyber shades, amazing. Let me, what does that look like? Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that, I don't know about that. I kind of have one vague idea, I might just slap together really quick. Just gonna lay out this little blobby patch of grass. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna really like this. I literally slapped this together in like 10 seconds. But I was thinking, I, I haven't put a lighthouse anywhere in a long time. And I think it'd be cute to incorporate a lighthouse on my island again. Because, you know, that's very uh, original Animal Crossing. And I think you'll probably, yeah, you're gonna probably be able to see it. Like, at night time from this spot, you're gonna be able to see the light. And I think that's gonna be kind of fun. And it's just like a cozy little sitting spot. And there's enough space that if you wanna go diving and like running off, you can do that. But yeah, I'm just like very, I think my creative well of juices is empty for the day. Um, I'm thinking I might put a volleyball net right here, but um, I am too lazy to, I wanna put grass underneath it to make it look kind of cozy. And I'm too lazy to do that. Or I could put dirt under it. I don't know, it would look good. Um, but if you all have any fun ideas of what you think would be cute to see at a bed and breakfast and like what I could do on this peninsula, let me know. Cause yeah, I'm definitely very uh, juiceless right now. But I think that's where I'm gonna stop for the day. So let's kind of walk through. We have this little reading nook. Can you even get in here? Okay, yeah, cool. You can, oh my God, I'm such a mess. You can't even lay down. Okay, I might have to mess around. Okay, I think that's cute. It looks a little more minimalist. Anyways, <laughs> here's our cute little sitting area. I'll probably still uh, mess around with it a thousand times because I'm really picky. We've got our little cafe. I love that instead of sitting on the chairs to drink your coffee, Ioni is just gonna sit her ass on the freaking sandy, grassy dirt. Anyways, this is our little sitting area. Um, a little dining spot um, once we have this bed and breakfast built you can take your breakfast out here you know you can have your morning scones some pancakes we've got coffee um provided fresh from brewsters i like to think anyways and then i love how this little area turned out i might put a butterfly on this mushroom i don't know we'll just have to see and then i might I, I didn't really play around with the customizations but i do love these little ivy partitions um fun fact i have an ivy plant that looks almost exactly like this in my bedroom and it's doing so good it's like getting really long i'm very excited um, this is like my first spring with a lot of plants, so I'm excited to like propagate them and see how much they grow. Um, but here's the real, the real show. Um, our little movie theater. I'm gonna actually turn this off. I don't know what the hell we're watching. <laughs> but I love this, our little outdoor theater. Um, oh, let me get an angled look. Oh my gosh, yes. That's it, that's the look. That is the look. This is gonna be so cute at nighttime. I'm gonna have to get some photos and see if it looks like nice and glowy. Um, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun just kind of decorating, um, taking my time. Let me know if you enjoyed uh, this video. I'm trying to experiment with different styles. Yeah, let me know if you enjoy videos like this where you get to watch me build in real time and kind of think it out or if you prefer like the speed builds that just have the voiceover. Um, but yeah, until the next time, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and make sure y'all stay peachy. Bye bye.